Welcome back, my friends. My name is OmniFlash, and I will be your guide to Perfect World Mobile. Today, we have a combo video. Many of you wanted to know how to make your guild stronger, as well as new events such as the Guild Beast. Today, we're going to talk about both. So, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below. Also, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. And if you comment, Below, you'll be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card on October 15, 2019. The Guild Beast is a flying whale that is located towards the right inside your guild base. Now, you want to feed it to make it larger, to make it stronger, because every day, if you go up to the Guild Beast, you can talk to your Guild Beast and it will give you silver as well as spirit now most people may not even know this like what there's a whale there's a whale where you're supposed to go up to it talk to it and it's gonna give me some gifts I say all right I mean be sure to tell all your friends in your guild what to do because they might not know that there is a whale inside your guild base you just go up to them and say hey whale what's up and then he will actually give you a gift and as you feed this whale he gets bigger and stronger so you see that he's at the bestiary or also known as you know where your whale hangs out so no matter if you are just a member or an officer of your guild just go ahead and go into guild chat, let everyone know, hey, there's a whale that wants to give you some free stuff. And also, if you are going to lead the guild beast, and if you do guild league or territory wars, guess what? Guild beast comes right before Wednesday guild leagues, as well as guild beast comes right before territory wars on Saturday. So you got to make sure that you get everybody on board to do this thing because it is good for everyone. As your guild beast gets stronger, you will get more rewards. And as a byproduct, if you have everyone sign up right before guild league to do guild beast, you're going to have everyone ready to go to war. They're going to be ready for Guild League. They're going to be ready for Territory War. You're not going to have people say, Oh, geez, I forgot there's a Territory War. And they'll, they'll, they'll finish Guild Beast and they will be up and ready to do war. So it's always good to have guild beast as a one of those main events because as you do guild beast all of your members will also get stronger because they will get guild points which they can use in their life skills and if they do life skills you will get more gold and with more gold they will get more gear more battle rating and as a whole your guild becomes stronger so do not ignore guild beast Having a guild beast teams is not necessary. You can solo guild beast. However, having everybody team up and be ready for guild league and territory wars is always a great idea. Now, once you get into the guild beast, what you do is you jump into this ocean. You jump in the ocean and you fight the fish. You actually want to get tributes to feed your whale. So uh, one of the first things I do is I jump all the way to the bottom and what you want to look for are these clams. And the clams have advanced tributes. Advanced tributes are better than just common tributes. If you kill a small fish, they give you common tributes. The bigger the fish, the bigger the tribute. The more points it's worth and you want to gain points fast. As you gain points, the faster you gain points, the stronger you can get. So, so there's different levels. You start out as level one. Your bubble is blue. As you progress, as you gain levels, as you get more tributes. So you run around, first things first, you got to spread out. There's a limited amount of fish. You spread out your whole guild. Everybody spread out, find their own corner of this map. And then this way, no one's actually killing each other's fish. And it's very annoying if there's a lot of people together and you're fighting the same fish. Only one person gets that tribute. 
I know it may be fun to steal someone else's fish, but I promise you, it is not fun when your fish are stolen from someone else. All right, so what you do is after you have gotten enough tributes, your next level, you need 20 tributes. So you need 20 tributes. I have about 20 tributes. I think I have enough. We'll go to one of these, these little sharks, the little shark maidens. Oh, I, I still need five more. Good to four more. Now, there is a problem when you have too many people <laughs> in your guild. When you have too many people in your guild, they're all killing the fish before you can kill them. But, hey, big guild problems, right? Big, big, big guild problems. Just too many people taking your fish. But, hey, I'm not going to be the one that complains too much. Now, in the very, very back, you have these tougher much tougher they actually fight back these mermen you don't want to go to them right now do you still only have a blue bubble you won't deal enough damage when you actually gain levels in the guild beast event you will actually deal more damage you'll have instead of one projectile you shoot two projectiles three projectiles eventually you can summon a merman to help you fight all right, so the Guild Beast event, as you can see, is not an event that you can do while AFK. If you want to see, go ahead and check the rest of the video out. I have sped it up because the Guild Beast event takes about 20 minutes. And I've, I'm not going to make you watch 20 minutes of me swinging around in here. So I've sped it up uh, like three times. And as you see, I just upgraded. My blue ball has upgraded to the next level my normal attack now deals twice as much damage and i actually got new skills now you're wondering how did i upgrade well you automatically upgrade when you go up to one of those guardian fish one of those uh those are little shark guardian fish you go go up there and you can actually turn in your tributes and when you have enough tributes it, it, like it says right now that i have yeah i just turned in some more and i have raised up to the next level i have orange uh, orange ball now that is the third level now I deal even more damage and I am just destroying fish at this third level you have a new skill a new skill that can send out bait and that attracts a lot of fish you want to attract fish away from the rest of your guild because they will steal your fish so go to some place more secluded away from other members of your guild then release your bait or someone else is going to steal all your fish all right so i'm getting stronger and now is the time we can actually go attack something big if you go to the very back so you just work your way keep keep getting stronger now at around six minutes left at about six minutes left i have gotten my red bubble with my red bubble i think i am strong enough to take on the shark mistress the shark mistress is perhaps the biggest boss that i have seen maybe these bosses upgrade one thing that i see in perfect world mobile is as you grow stronger i think the bosses get stronger this right here is the shark mistress one of the strongest bosses but she is no match for me and uh i had uh i had my bait ready so i released the bait and wh while i was killing the shark mistress i also got regular tribute so yeah you you have a bait skill do use that bait skill as soon as it's ready if possible so that you can get you can get those tributes all right and the shark mistress is gumming down Oop, got my tributes got my got a ton of little tributes now, now watch this. Now, my personal point so far is 152. I turned in all of those fishes and that shark mistress kill. And now I have 260 points. That shark mistress was worth a lot of points. It really was. I mean, I, I have, I am also, I am at max technique level with this orange red ball. 
I, I just destroy fish very quickly. Now you do want to watch that time. T time is clicking, clicking down. You watch that time. There's only 57 seconds left, 50 seconds left, 45 seconds left, 40 seconds left. You, you gotta, you gotta just, you know, turn in. If just whenever you, you are close to that fish, watch that time. I only have 10 seconds left, nine seconds left. Am I turning in? No. All right. So, so I messed up. I had like 15 seconds left and I did not turn in the fish I had. I have a rank 13, but if I actually turned in the fish that I had in that last 15 seconds, I could have ranked 10. And then that would have made a difference. I would have gotten even more guild points. All right. I hope this video helped you out so that you can get more guild points for your life skills. You should, if you can, post this video to all your guild members, okay? Just post it in your Discord. Post it in your line chat. Any type of chat that you have for your guild so that everybody in your guild knows how to do guild beasts everyone will get stronger your guild will get stronger because your your whale your guild beast will be giving you more stuff every single day all right if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and comment below i'll see you in the next video